All right, you want professional photos for your Airbnb listing or other short-term rental property listing, but you don't want to spend a couple thousand dollars on professional camera gear, and I don't blame you. I've got a hack for you, a big one, and this is going to change the game to give you professional level quality photos immediately for under 100 bucks using external lenses and some lighting that you can get like on Amazon Prime, like super fast. And that way you don't have to wait for um, Airbnb's professional photographer to come out and take photos for you. You can immediately put a high quality product into play and make some money right away. My name is Sean Rakijic. This is Airbnb Automated. Let's jump right in. All right, welcome back Airbnb family. So today we're gonna do actually kind of like a product review, but it is mixed in with like a life hack on how to take professional photos. And the biggest part of this is that we all have smartphones. They're capable of taking really good photos overall because the brain inside of those cameras are great. And Apple and Samsung and all these companies have been in this war to create better and better photography on their phones because social media is prime, right? So your camera phone, is good enough, but it's missing a couple things. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy you some lights because lighting is everything in photography. And we're gonna review this product, which is basically $40 for uh, like different lenses that you can put over any smartphone. But we're only gonna look at one of them, which is the wide, pardon me, it's actually on my phone. Uh, it's the wide angle lens. Um, there it is, aha, all right, cool. It turns your little glass, let me zoom this in, one second. Turns your little glass on your phone into this big piece of glass. You know what guys, I just so you know, if you're wondering, no, I don't use autofocus. So um, this makes the glass on your phone so much bigger, which that's more light coming into your phone. How cool is that? So without further ado, what we're going to do is we are going to pretty much, am I in focus? Yeah, okay. We're gonna put this on my camera and we're gonna take some photos. We're gonna shoot some befores and we're gonna shoot some afters of three different spots in your home. And we're gonna talk about the lighting, the problem with the lighting and how we fixed it. And we're gonna put these um, photos in my smartphone into an app that's free on my smartphone. And we're gonna edit them to look very pretty and they're gonna be uh, worthy of your Airbnb profile. Now, this kind of comes up because I did a seminar today. I invited a bunch of people out to my office at uh, the WeWork in Dallas, in Victory Park, and somebody said, hey, do you recommend using um, Airbnb's photographer um, to come out and take photos? Now, my yes is actually for a different reason. Airbnb gives you an SEO boost when you use their photographer because they can verify the photos or actually the photos of the home. And they have, of course, edited them to be what they think is best. So, pros and cons. You get an SEO boost by using Airbnb's free photographer, which is cool. Cons. Um, you do not get those photos. They're not licensed to you. Um, the photographer doesn't even own them. Airbnb owns those photos. And it takes a while for him to get, or her to get out to you to take those photos. So you still need photos, good ones, up on your listing right away because you get an SEO boost for the first three months that your listing is live. And you don't wanna wait two, three, four weeks for a photographer to come out and take photos and you lose like one month of your boost with junk photos, right? So even if you set your listing up two weeks in advance before it's ready and then have the photographer come out, you're losing a couple weeks of your new listing SEO boost. So it's worth the money um, to spend like a few bucks on this. If you have multiple listings, by the way, having professional camera gear is probably everything. Um, but if you only have one or two or three listings, this less than $100 hack is gonna really do it for you. So let me show you how this game works. Let's jump in. I said that already. Let's get to it. Let's take some photos.
All right, now we're back at the office. I had Alberto go do the honors of editing these videos on his phone and recording it so you can actually see that this is something that you can do from your phone entirely take the photos, edit the photos, and then upload them. We're gonna use a free app that you can download. Um, I made a kit where you can get the lights, the lenses, and if you're Android or iOS, it won't matter because there's gonna be a link in the kit to either one. You're gonna download this Lightroom app. It's made by Adobe. It's the same thing that most professionals use for their editing anyway, but there's a mobile version that gives you a lot of the same features that the paid version on the computer does, but it's free on your phone, which is really cool. And so, um, Alberto just went and did the registration for it and now we're going to play in this video side by side the, the registration and him editing uh, the kitchen video or the kitchen photo at the same time. And so you're going to notice that these features include uh, curves, um, be you, so essentially you can change the lighting, how light the light parts are, how light the dark parts are, or vice versa. Um, you can change like how colorful the photo is with things like saturation. You can change how how different the lights and darks are in a photo, which is called contrast. You can bring pretty much the light to be less contrasty, which means that the, the darks will be less pronounced and the lights will be less pronounced. Um, and that's a really good uh, tip. When you're taking um, photography for real estate, you want real even lighting, and then you tend to dial down the contrast to give the photo a more, um, kind of inviting and even look. It doesn't look as dramatic. Contrast um, is more aggressive in a photo and you want your photos to seem perfectly welcoming and comfortable. And so contrast, you lower the contrast and it makes a photo look more comfortable uh, typically. So he's playing with the curves as we speak right now. Um, if you want to learn how to photo edit um, like he's doing, you can use um, other YouTube channels. Like one of my favorites ones is called Pix Imperfect and I'll try to tag that channel here. Um, he'll appreciate it. Not that it matters. He already has tons and tons of followers and voila. So with that said, look, let's look at the before. What it looks like when you only have your phone and no lights and what it looks like when you use some lights, some lenses, and you edit your photos before you upload them. Quick and easy, one, two, three, four. Cool, huh? So thank you for watching Airbnb Automated. As usual, if you appreciate this kind of content, give me a like, it helps with the algorithm so people can watch this video. And um, if I haven't earned your subscribe click yet, I hope to earn it in the future. You've been watching a lot of videos. I know you want to click that sub subscribe button. It makes me feel validated. Um, it's not my birthday or anything, but I'd appreciate it. So um, on, while we're on the topic of, I guess, uh, product reviews, um, we will be doing a series of videos about my final and first formal endorsement for any home product. Um, like I actually reached out to these guys, said, hey, I'm going to do this. Um, this is Point. Um, it's a company out of Europe and it is, without going into great detail, it is a noise monitoring device. Better than noise aware, head and shoulders above it. So we're going to talk about this over a course of a few videos most likely. I'm excited to share that one with you. So without keeping you on YouTube forever, thank you for watching Airbnb Automated and I will see you on the other side.